Hey guys, this is Ram from YRR Help and today's video I'm going to show you how if and else statements work in Oracle PLSQL and uh, if you're familiar with any basic programming language you might be familiar with uh, you know if, else if and else statements well basically functionality is going to be same in here also but syntax is going to be quite different and I'm going to show you how it works here so basically I have a table here student table and I have name ID and marks and result so what I'm gonna do in this tutorial is I'm gonna take marks of respect to student and I'm gonna update his grade based on uh, you know certain conditions so I have a basic program here uh, I have a record structure defined and if you're not familiar with the records you can check my previous video I have provided the link in the description you can check that record tutorial also and what I'm doing is I'm assigning uh, ID for uh, for this record uh, student and uh, id is 12 so which is 12 this record and i'm fetching marks for that respective id so i'm going to quickly write some conditional statements here so this is how it works first you have to start with if and you have to specify certain expression here so expression can be any any basic expression and make sure that it returns either a true or false and i'm going to take up this marks and I'm gonna compare if the marks equals 12 so this is how it works this is how you compare in PLSQL it's not like your you know normal programming language where you use uh, double equals but it's that's not the way how it works here it's always uh, single when you are comparing two values and I'm gonna say if marks equals 100 then do something so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to update this result as uh, let's say S, right? I'm going to update this result as S grade. It's very simple. And one more thing is whenever you are uh, writing if statements, whenever you open an if statements, you must and should end with an if statement. So that's how it works. And when you are initializing, don't forget to add that you know colon thing. So it's very simple if statement. Uh, what I'm trying to do is if marks equals hundred, then update result as s and close that if statement. So I'm I'm just gonna quickly update the result to my table also. Update student table set result equals well so and so result whatever the data it returns where id equals this thing all right so i'm going to quickly comment this one all right so let me just run this one and let's see what happens all right program successfully completed and when i go back to my table and when i run this query uh, you can see this s result because basically we are fetching uh, this guy 12 uh, student id 12 marks which is 100 and i'm gonna i'm gonna assign uh, grade as s so but when you run this uh, the same program for let's say under user 14 uh, it's not going to do anything basically why because uh, you have only one condition here and this guy 14 does not fall to that condition so if you have multiple conditions you can use else if statements so this is how you write else if statements here it's very simple all you have to do is else if so this is how it works it's there's no e in that else if statements and i don't know why or uh, they d they have decided to do like that but there's no in the e in that else if statement and apart from that uh, syntax is going to be same as if so I'm gonna copy this one. I'm gonna paste it here. So what uh, wh what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define another condition. So where I'll say greater than or equals 80, right? Then I'm gonna give grade as A. The syntax is same. You have a, a else statement here, and you have you have to use then and you have to specify one uh, one condition how it's going to work is it's going to first run this condition if it satisfies then it's going to skip this else if and it's going to end that condition but in case if it doesn't satisfy this condition it's going to go to else if condition well that's how it works so when i run my program i mean when i run my query here well it showed a for me 
so for this respect to user and the same time when you run for 16 the same thing it's not gonna work because the 16 marks is 70 and uh, it, it does not gonna fall in either of the conditions so let me just quickly add two more conditions here and else if and cool thing is that you can uh, you can literally use any of the expression here uh, like for example you can use uh, between on statements and you can use like uh, whatever the thing you want between let's say 50 and I'm gonna give grade as B and last and final thing is you have else statements well else statements gonna work like this well you, you, you're trying to tell that if my marks if my marks doesn't belongs to any of these categories then you just take this else statement all right then i'm going to give result as f right uh, basically you don't need any expression for else that's because uh, as i said if uh, it's going to brutally if if it does not fall into any of this condition well it's definitely going to go to this else condition so you don't need any expression there so let me just run this one and let's see what happens what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the query for uh, user 16 here and let's see what happens all right so let's see what the user i16 got well he got b grade not bad well uh, let me just quickly run for 17 when i run for 17 it should assign result as f the reason because the 40 marks 40 doesn't fall into 100 and uh, either of these categories so it should go to else statement and it's going to assign f grade so let me just run for 17 also all right let's see now all right you got f grade there so that uh, that's how if statements work uh, one thing you have to remember is that uh, whenever you open if statement you must and should end with end if statement i know syntax might be quite different with your programming language but overall functionality is going to be same and thanks for viewing and in my next video i'm going to show you how for loop and while loops work in oracle thanks for viewing don't forget to subscribe us